Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. Today's video is not on science, but it's on Christianity versus the other major world religions. The title of this video is, If I Keep Sinning, Am I Still Saved and Going to Heaven? This is a question that I used to wrestle with even though I knew I was a Christian. Some other major world religions, such as Zoroastrianism and Islam, state that when we die, our good works will be measured in comparison to our evil deeds. I don't believe this because, according to Christianity, it only takes one sin in a person's life to be guilty of all sin so that we're not able to inherit heaven and be with God who is all righteous, all loving, and totally sinless. That just makes more logical sense, sense to me. According to Hinduism, uh, Hinduism, you're not saved. You're going to be reincarnated as a lower creature before you escape the cycle of life, only achievable by being perfect. None of us are perfect. We all make sins. What I've come to learn is that there is a promise made by God through faith in His Son, Jesus Christ, who is God incarnate, or God in human form. Jesus died on the cross. He could have saved Himself and have hundreds of angels come down and spare His life. But he, di he died on the cross purposely as a perfect sacrifice because he never sinned for our sins. Christ is our sacrifice, perfect in nature, so that once he died, he covered his blood with us so that we will be, when we die, seen as perfect as Jesus and inherit the kingdom of God, heaven. But what about if you believe these things, are you still saved even though you keep sinning, struggling with sin in your life? The answer is, yes, you are. And the reason why is this. To become saved, all you have to do is accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, believe that he is the Son of God, God incarnate, and accept him as your sa sa savior and have faith in him even through hard times that you go through have faith that you're going to heaven through the blood of Jesus Christ that's all you need to do and once you pray the prayer Lord come into my life I repent of my sins meaning to turn away from your sins stop doing them Jesus Christ I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for sending Jesus to die on the cross for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Once you pray that prayer, you're saved forever. And the reason why is this. In Christianity, Christ died once for all of our sins, past, present, and future. So even if you keep sinning, he covered those sins that you're committing in the f present and future through his sacrifice for you. Wonderful, one, wonderful, wonderful thing that is. You can think that you and realize that you're saved even though you keep sinning because you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you believe in him, and you have faith in him. Now, what are some Bible verses in Christianity that state this? I'll read some to you. The apostles replied to, to the people in Jesus, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Just believe. And that's from Acts 16, verse 31. Here's another. 
and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That's all you have to do. Acts 2, chapter 2, verse 21. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. So just profess your faith in Jesus Christ, God, and the Holy Spirit, and you will be saved. That's Romans 10, verse 10. Whosoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned and sent to hell where there's pain, gnashing of teeth, and crying all the time, forever and ever. Mark chapter 16, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first the Jew, then to the Gentile. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Just believe. That's all you have to do. Believe and accept Jesus Christ. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and not, not of yourselves through your own works. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no man can boast. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 9. So you see, if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you believe in him and you have faith, you're saved. As for me, I've stopped sinning for the most part. I'm living a good life. I don't abuse drugs and alcohol anymore. I'm not stealing and lusting like I used to, except now and then I do sin. But I'm struggling with this sin in my life. And that sin is smoking. I smoke cigarettes. I know smoking causes causes disease. I know that I'm expecting my health insurance company to pay for my own surgeries and hospitalizations due to smoking diseases. And I know that the money that I spend on cigarettes could be donated to Christian churches and the needy. So I know it's a sin. But I'm trusting in the Lord to take away my temptation by filling me with his Holy Spirit. And I will stop smoking. But I also know that I'm still saved. It doesn't mean I'm not saved. And I want you to be reassured in that with the sins that you struggle with and can't give up. It's good to live as good people. But our own acts don't get us into heaven. It is the blood of Christ when he died on the cross for our saved salvation. That is all we need to have faith in, believe in, and accept. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you to find those beautiful rocks and minerals to keep looking down.